Coming up on tonight's show, we'll discuss the new look for OSU athletics as well as test the sports IQ of people on the streets of campus. You're watching the Beaver Sports Show on KBVR-TV. Stay tuned. Welcome to tonight's episode of the Beaver Sports Show. I'm your host, Audrey Wilts, and alongside me, as always, Jacob Noakes and Alex Crawford. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing great. My Celtics won, so I can't complain. All right. I don't know how my Lakers are doing, but... Uh, they're probably doing pretty yeah, bad. Pretty <laughs> you know... And Let's this, go with the statistics there. It's just there, been you know, tough. Prob it's just been tough. They're pro you know, probability-wise, they're not... And I heard some trades are going to be going on in a little while, and yeah, I'm, I mean, really, I'm really Anything nervous. you can do to win when you're having such a bad season like the Los Angeles right. Lakers. Uh, anyway, I, I like your dress, you? Audrey. I like... It's nice. It's a really oh, nice dress. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started away from NBA. Let's talk about um, our sports. I know a lot's going on. We've got some rebranding that we're going to talk about later, some baseball team statistics. We've been doing really good. But first, we're going to start out with sports trivia for the week. So Jeff Lowe got out in the OSU quad to test the sports IQ of some passerbys. Here's this week's sports trivia. What's up, guys? Welcome to the final edition of the Beaver Sports Trivia Show for the term. I'm Jeff Lowe. We're out here in the MU quad under the under a tent today. You got got a little rain, so uh, we're gonna go see if we can find people. Let's uh, let's get going. All right, what is the OSU men's baseball team currently ranked? I don't know, like six, fifth. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I have no idea, so I'm gonna go 23rd. They're currently ranked eighth of last week, but I want to say fourth now. Yeah, you're right. They're fourth as of March 4th. Okay. Where is the men's basketball Pac-12 tournament being held this year? Ooh, uh, Oregon State. Ooh, that's easy. Las Vegas. Ooh, okay, two for two. Where is the OSU women's softball team currently ranked? Give you a hint. You already said it. Fourth. 23rd. Oh. Ooh, yikes. I don't even know. Uh, 17th, I want to say. 23rd. Who is the head coach of the Beaver baseball team? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. I want to say Coach Heinrich. <laughs> Pat Casey. <laughs> I'm Jeff Lowe, and for the rest of the Beaver Sports Trivia team, back to you guys in the studio. Beaver Sports Show crew members caught up with men's basketball players Roberto Nelson and Daniel Jones to see what types of things they prefer. Here's this week's This or That segment. Hi, I'm Roberto Nelson on the Oregon State men's basketball team and you're watching the Beaver Sports Show. Peanut butter or jelly? Jelly. Boxers or briefs? Briefs. Amazon or eBay? <sighs> Amazon. TV shows or movies? Movies. Pen or pencil? Pen. Phone call or in person? In person. Video games or board games? Video games. Shower or bath? Bath if I could fit. <laughs> Rain or snow? Snow. Um, Pixar or DreamWorks? Pixar. Rock or rap? Rap. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. White or wheat? Wheat. Love or money? <laughs> Love. Movies or reading? Movies. Car or motorcycle? Car. Michael Jackson or Elvis? Michael Jackson. Uh, gift cards or cash? Let's go cash. Paper or plastic? Paper. Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny? Santa Claus. Lucky charms or tricks? Lucky charms all day. Mayo or Miracle Whip? Oh, uh, Mayo. Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew? Dr. Pepper. Hi, I'm Daniel Jones on the Oregon State men's basketball team. Math or English? Math. Summer or winter? Summer. Morning or night? Night. Tea or coffee? Tea. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. Black or white? White. Dogs or cats? Dogs. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Cable or internet? Internet. Uh, Simpsons or Family Guy? Family Guy. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Batman or Superman? Batman. Fantasy or reality? Fantasy. Pancake or waffles? Waffles. Uh, hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. All right, we're, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back after this with the Beaver Roundtable.
Welcome back to the Beaver Sports Show. It's time for everybody's favorite segment. I know it's your guys' favorite segment, oh, yeah. the Beaver Roundtable. So we've got some hot topics to discuss tonight. I think that everybody's, this, this is what's buzzing around campus right now. Um, and I want to start off with men's baseball. We're 12-0. Um, we are ranked fourth in the country. What do you guys think of the season so far? I know it's pretty early, but what do you think of the season, and what do you think our rankings are going to be by the time you know we really get into Pac-12 play and towards the end of the season? Well, we've been playing great. Uh, our pitching has been excellent. And uh, Michael Conforto, uh, he had 12 RBIs over the season, oh, excuse me, over the weekend, and he had four home runs, including a grand slam. So six of the 12 teams in the Pac-12 are top 25, so we got to watch out for that. But I don't think we can say our rankings until we get the Pac-12 play because that's where the competition is. We're 12-0 right now, but uh, the real test is going to be coming in the Pac-12 play. So yeah, I mean, great. basically everything you said, I have to agree with, Jacob. Like you said, six of the 12 Pac-12 teams are in the top 25. Obviously, the Beavers just played Bryant this weekend, a school I don't think anybody in this room has heard of. I think so, they're, I think they're own six. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's very early, but at the same time, it's very promising. I was going to talk about Michael Conforto last year, one of the best freshmen in college baseball, Pac killing 12, it. Pac-12 Player of the Week. Yeah, he was the, named. Yeah, huge for him. Huge for him. I believe it's the first time he's won it. It is after yeah. a very strong freshman campaign. I believe our team's ERA is under 1.0. So you know, overall, just a great start to the season. And if the Beavers can keep this up throughout conference play, they'll be top five by the end of the year just because of how strong the conference is in baseball. Whether that happens remains to be seen. I think it's a little early, like you said, to jump to any end of the season conclusions. But right now, promising. I'm really excited. I think a lot of fans are behind this team right now. They, they want to see them do so good. This is the best start in years and oh. years and years. Yeah, said, alumni are coming. Yeah, yeah alumni Nation. are coming back to the game. You know what I mean? Everybody's getting out there. It's kind of sort of starting to get sunny. I heard it's supposed to be a nice weekend. So we'll probably get a good crowd out there. And, and those boys deserve it. They definitely do. Yeah, so well. I'm excited. Um, next hot topic, we, it's, it's all over Facebook, all over campus. Um, there's a huge banner all week up in the MU with the new OSU logo on it. Now, I know we got some footage. Um, they revealed it earlier this week, uh, what the new footage was going to look like. They went through all the jerseys. What do you guys think about all this stuff? Well, I still, I still stand by my word. I don't like the logo. Even though I saw it on the helmet, I mean, it might look a little better, but I still don't like it overall. But the jerseys made up for everything. I mean, I love the orange, I love the black, and I love the white. And uh, the special thing we did is the helmets. Like, I've never seen another team, like, have a logo on a helmet, have a number on another helmet, and then have nothing on the black helmet. So I'm really excited about the helmets. And overall, I think OSU did great on the brand. Not on the logo, but on the brand itself, made up for it. Yeah, I'm going to say two years here, 1967-2000. Two of the best years in Oregon State football history. Obviously, the giant killers of 1967. Fiesta Bowl champions of the two, 2001 Fiesta Bowl, but the 2000 football season. Mm -hmm. You look at those jerseys, they were very simple. You know, very, I mean, Oregon State has always been substance over style. You know, hard work, mm -hmm. lunch pail you. And, and that's what these new jerseys embody. I like, I love the black, the blank helmet. Very reminiscent of the Nike Pro Combats worn in 2010. I love the all orange, the, the number on the helmet, very classic. You've seen Alabama, you know, one of the most traditional, one of the most classic college football programs rep represent that. And so I really like what they did, the new logo. I know I know, I bashed on it a couple weeks ago. It's a little bit too of too Nutria for me. It's a little too I saw, Portland State, but. I saw somebody post a picture of a beaver and a Nutria together, and they asked, can you tell the difference? And no. most people said no. Well, yeah, I mean, but, you, look, you know, it's still, you know, it's, it's a little mouthy, I'd say. The look teeth at the are road, a little fierce. The teeth look a little overgrown. I don't yeah. know if there's been a, a wood shortage and the beaver's teeth are just growing out. <laughs> uh, but if you look at the rodent family, a lot of the rodents look the same. Yeah. So I think to say, oh, it doesn't look like a beaver, it looks like this rodent is a little bit pretentious. I don't know what your zoology degree is, but I mean, it, it's a beaver at the end of the day. It'll grow on me. Mm -hmm. It has grown on me. I think Beaver Nation will come to accept it if they haven't already. So the new logo, iffy, but the jerseys, the font, the numbers, I mean, Nike couldn't have done a better job. With we that. also we also got to take a look at the reveal about um, at some basketball jerseys too. Oh, yeah. um, the cross country girls came out. Um, what do you guys feel about that? I know uh, the representative from Nike who was there was talking about um, all the different innovative textures that they had, the dry fit, um, the real details in the logos. Did you guys get to take a look at that? Yeah, I mean, I like, 
I like the baseball, oh, excuse me, the basketball and the cross country, but I'm excited to see the baseball uniform. So hopefully we get to see them this year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, the new texture, the new fabric. Well, right now I, th really good. I think the Beavers baseball uniforms are, are probably the best of all the major sports, They're or simple. excuse me, of all the sports at Oregon State. I love the pinstripe, the gray with the pinstripe. I love the baseball uniforms. Love to see what Nike's going to do there. Men's basketball. Very reminiscent of the Gary Payton, the Ralph Miller era here Very at Oregon traditional. State. So I think the new Beaver logo, it'll grow on me, I think. I'm a little iffy on it. But overall, every team's jersey looked, looked excellent. So yeah. I got to say, at the end of the day, two thumbs up. I'd give them a B plus if I was giving out a grade. All right, all right. Jacob, any grades? I'll give it an A minus on the jerseys and everything. Overall, including the logo, I'll give a B. Okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, if you'd like to give us your opinion, you can check out our Facebook page and let us know what you think of all the new logo. Um, where are you guys at on points? I know we always tally it up. You guys have been watching and paying attention. Uh, I think, what's, what's the score out right now? Jacob, you're well, the one who keeps track. Well, we had 14-12, but me and Crawford were debating before the show that I might have missed a week. So we might have to go back to mm. I mean, check. not to pull an Al Gore here, but I, I kind of want a recount of two weeks ago. But we'll get on <laughs> we'll get on that. Right now he's leading. I don't think it's real, but, you know, I'll, I'll try to make up for it this week. One okay. thing I want to do, point out, is I did go six for six. I know. Week. That's what I was going to say. You, you yeah, were six for six last yeah, week, so. which was pretty impressive. Uh, we've got one more week to go. I know this is our last show of the term, but we will keep, point, keep track of points, and we'll let everybody know on Facebook who's the winner of this term. Um, but let's go to, to this week's game. So um, we have UCLA at Washington. What do you guys think? I'm going to take UCLA. They just won versus Arizona. Huge game. And they're actually my pick to win the Pac-12 this year. So I'm going to stick to that in UCLA. Well, i got to agree with you, Jacob. I mean, they got two 15-plus point scorers a game. They have Larry the second, one of the best point guards in the whole NCAA. you got to go with UCLA in this one. All right. What about Oregon at Utah? I'm going to take Oregon in this one because Zemi, he stepped up his game against Oregon State. So i got to take Oregon on the road. Oregon looks good. Dominic Artis is back. And Utah is only one of two teams that's actually worse than Oregon State in the Pac-12 this year. <laughs> got to go with Oregon. All right. ASU at Arizona. A little Arizona rivalry. I'm going to take Arizona only because they are at home this year. They've been a little disappointing as of late. But uh, after that tough loss against UCLA, I think they're going to come back strong. Disappointing, maybe, but with such high expectations, they're still doing really good overall. Yeah. i got to go with Arizona. Definitely NCAA tournament team. Definitely getting the win this weekend. All right. USC at Washington. USC, they've been hot lately. And also, they're playing Washington State. And also, they're at home. So I have to take USC. I mean, that, yeah, that's a trifecta right there. USC, after a slow start, after firing their coach midway through the season, really turned things around. And I'm going to have to agree with you again. Going with USC on this one. All right, are we going to have any differences? Yeah, there will be one. Okay, okay. Be one. okay, OSU at Colorado. Okay, I might be hopeful on this one, but I'm going to pick OSU in this game. They're on the road, I know. We already lost to Colorado at home, but I think Roberto Nelson and Ahmad Starks are going to have great games, and we're going to win 75 to 74. Ooh, I love it. Game. I love close the optimism. Game. I hope that's the truth. Every time I picked Oregon State to win this year, they've lost. Every time I picked them to lose, They've won, and let me tell you something. Colorado's a good team. They're an NCAA tournament bubble team. They've been playing real well as of late. i got to go with the Buffaloes, man. I think Colorado wins this one, and I hope, I hope, I hope you're wrong. I hope, I hope it keeps going, going. I mean, I hope so, but either way, I think uh, I'll go home happy. Either I get the point or the Beavers win, but i got to pick Colorado in this one, no doubt in my mind. All right, all right. Well, um, Alex, are you having a sports show this T tomorrow? Yeah, yes, yes, this Friday, tomorrow. Please tune in to 88.7 KBVR FM for Against the Spread Sports Talk Radio, hosted by yours truly. Jacob, thanks for coming on last week. It was fun. That was, I mean, I'd love to get you on again this week. Audrey, if you ever want to dabble. Right, I know yeah, you've yeah, been yeah, on the I'm Love on. Talk Show. I know. We've been on, I've been on your other talk show. Yeah. Uh, quit Playing Games is pretty sweet. You guys should check yeah, it out. Love but Talk, Sports Talk, what more do you need? I know. And you got a little bit of both. Us at Beef Sports Show. So if and you have any questions or anything, just tweet us. All right, and from all of us here at the Beaver Sports Show to you, have a great night, and we'll see you next term. All right, man, so uh, the new Beaver brand has been relaunched, and um, I just want to know uh, what your thoughts on it. I think it's awesome. You know, I think it's just what Oregon State needs right now, kind of rejuvenates the program with everything that's been building up lately with 
all the programs across the board. I think it's really awesome from a marketing standpoint and a, a national identity for us, especially like they were saying in their recruiting. You know, it's just gonna it's just gonna make us a hot item. Yep. All right, so I'm here with um, a couple Beaver fans, and uh, we just got done unveiling the new Beaver logo. And um, what's your guys' names? Sebi. Huh? Sebi. Sebi. Sebi and Steve. Sebi and Steve. All right, Sebi, uh, how do you feel about the new Beaver brand? I like it. You like it? Yeah. All right. So I'm here on the on the stage right now with uh, one of the models, uh, Donnell Welch, looking mighty nice right there on the all white. Thank you, thank you. How do you feel about this whole Nike and Billing thing and uh, the new brand? I mean, I love it. You know, like I told everybody else, like, it looks nice. It's clean. It's it's, it's soft. It's, it just feels fast. Like I can't wait to play in it. It's good. It's good. Well, uh, there you have it. <laughs>